I had forgotten how much boats sway. Tenebrae, are you seasick? Well, yes. I guess not even centurions are immune to seasickness. It looks that way. What? Marta, not you too. I told you, I get motion sickness. If only I had some of my company's patented motion sickness medication. Why don't the two of you lie down in the cabin for now? G good idea. Oh. Curse this awful vessel. What the? Are you okay? Lloyd, he... Did you say Lloyd? Did Lloyd Irving do this to you? Yes, it was Lloyd. He came and attacked the city. Hang on! Stay with me! He's gone. Th this is horrible. I must find out what happened here. It's just like at Palma Costa. How could he do something so horrible? Emil. Damn it, Lloyd. Where are you? He couldn't have gotten far. Let's track him down before he can leave town.
Did Lloyd actually do all this? I can't believe it. But you heard what those people said. They said that Lloyd did this. That is true, but... Face the facts. Lloyd did all this, just like he destroyed Paul Costa and Lewin. Lloyd, wait! Lloyd, did you really cause all of this death and destruction? Tell me! I can't believe it. You despise this kind of cruelty, you more than anyone. Answer me, Lloyd. I'm in a hurry. You bastard! <laughs> You've improved. What? Looks like I'll have to speed things up. Come back, you coward! So that's what Lloyd's become. Yes, he's like that every time we see him. Why does he keep doing these horrible things? So, Regal, what's it gonna be? We're gonna pay that bastard back for all this. You still wanna come with us? If I recall correctly, your objective is to get all of the Centurion's cores. It's the same thing. Not quite. Doesn't locating the cores take priority? But would you be able to fight against Lloyd if it comes down to that? If necessary, yes. That wasn't the Lloyd that I know. I want to know why he's changed so drastically. And then I want to save him, just like Lloyd saved me. I don't want to burden you, but I hope you would allow me to travel with you a while longer. I... I trust you, Regal. You treat a kid like me as if I were an adult, an equal. I haven't met too many people like that before. And you are no burden at all. We'd be happy to have you along. Thank you. So how should we proceed? Shall we follow Lloyd? Like Regal said, the most important thing isn't revenge. It's the Centurion's cores. There's supposed to be a Centurion's core around here. It's where Celsius used to be, right? Hmm. In that case, I'll show you the way. But first, I think we should do whatever we can to help the people of this city. Yes. I was going to say the same thing. Me too! <laughs> I think you're rubbing off on me, Emil. Now when I see someone in need, my first instinct is to help them. Then let's split up for now. We can help more people that way. We'll meet back here once things have settled down. Right! Emil, you take the church. The city was hit hard, but they should be able to get back on their feet with the right help. I'll need to contact my company's Disaster Recovery Division for assistance. Your clothes? I gave them to one of the injured. It gets pretty cold here at night. They're thin, but they're better than nothing. And... And? We're going after Lloyd. There's no telling what may happen. Those clothes are not appropriate for fighting. For my friend, I shall endure these clothes, this humiliation, for a while.
Whoa, what is this smell? Please make her crazy about me. The smell's coming from this guy. And then, make her say she likes me, and she'll hold my hand, and give me a long, passionate kiss, and she'll say, Dex, I could never live without you. And then she'll plead with me and say, Marry me. I love you. Hmm? What do you want, kid? Uh, nothing. Don't tell me. What? You've got a crush on me, too. Huh? Ah, yes. The mail order catalog did say that this Otis Seduction cologne would affect men and women alike. No, I don't... Don't be embarrassed, kid. I understand how you feel. But see, I've already promised myself to another. But perhaps this little rendezvous was meant to happen. I shall leave you with a gift of some of my ever-fragrant Eau de Seduction. Farewell! What was that guy? Hey, young man! If you have a free hand, we could use some help carrying the injured. Yes. It looks like things have started to calm down. I'm glad we could help, though I wish they weren't needed in the first place. By the way, did you see Rain or Genus? No. I see. That worries me. They should have gotten here before us. Do you think they got caught in the attack? Fretting over that now won't accomplish anything. Shall we depart to retrieve the Centurion's core? Tenebrae, you can be so cold-hearted. Why would you say that?
no hard drive. If I may bring up our previous discussion. Huh? Well, which one? You mentioned that I was so cold hearted. Though it may seem that way, in actuality, I am quite kind. Oh, that. Yes. For example, if a monster is near death and suffering, I do not hesitate to use my powers to bring them under my control. And in battle, I always make sure to finish off an opponent, no matter how much they beg, before they have a chance to regret fighting me. And that's being kind? Yes. Among centurions, I am known for my moderation. <sighs> How could Lloyd not answer me? You still want to save him somehow, don't you? He is my friend. What kind of person was Lloyd before? Well, he was an optimistic, straightforward, and compassionate young man. He followed his heart. So he tended to act without thinking through his actions, but I found that innocence to be a positive trait. That doesn't sound anything like the Lloyd I know. That may be. I wish I could somehow introduce you to the Lloyd I once knew. Maybe then you'd understand how confused I am at this situation. The flow of time cannot be reversed. No, there are those who can manage the task, but for humans it's exceedingly difficult. Indeed. And as much as I long to see the Lloyd of old, we must deal with him as he is now. My apologies for having broached such a topic. This is a surprise. Flanor was unusually warm, but now the ice here is melting. Is it normally much colder here? Yes. This whole area used to be covered in snow and ice. How unusual. It looks like this might be a Celsius's tear. That voice! Isn't that rain? Too much on arts. 
It's my choice. Did something happen? It was terrible when we got to Flanor. No way. All those poor townspeople. This is very strange. Flanor has never opposed the church. Rain, is that all you have to say? This is important. Why would Lloyd attack Flanor? Maybe he just wanted to kill more people? No, that doesn't make sense. You fought Lloyd before, but he chose not to kill you. I see what you mean. All the cities attacked up until now had been opposed to the Church of Martell, or at least suspected of it. Come to think of it, why did you two come this way? Oh, right. We discovered something terrible, too. We came to look for the Centurion's core, but... Wood got to it first? Not Lloyd. An accessory seller has it. What? We ran into the owner of an accessory shop just as we arrived. He was carrying the Centurion's core. When we asked him to hand it over, he said he couldn't possibly part with such a valuable item. Most unfortunate. That man is in danger. You're right. The core will warp the soul of any normal person who handle it. Affected parties are typically consumed with the desire to destroy everything in sight. He may become violent or even murderous. If that's true, wouldn't that explain Lloyd's attack on Flanor? You mean it's the Centurion's core that's making him act this way? We have to go after Lloyd. Which way was his Rayard headed? Um, to the south, I think south from here. He could be headed for Mel Tokyo. We'll leave Lloyd to you two. The rest of us will go after the Centurion's core. Regal, are you sure? I'm the one who requested to come along, remember? Then that means we'll be parting ways with you two again. You guys will go after the Centurion's core, and we'll go after... The odds are good that our paths will cross again soon. Until then, be careful. Right. Well then, farewell. Oh, Rain, about that letter. I read every word. Wait, does that mean that you two are... Thanks, Rigo. Okay, Genus, let's go. Wait, but... but... <laughs> oh, the passion of love. It makes my heart race. Anyway, we should find that accessory shop in town. Let's go. If you wrote me a letter, I'd read every word of it, too. Oops, I'm not 
not supposed to say things like that, right? S sorry. No, it's fine. <sighs> I'm so jealous. Why is that, Marta? I was just thinking what it would be like to be in a mature relationship like Regal and Rain. I mean, it's so exciting. A mature relationship? You mean like having meddling in-laws? Being so poor you have to share a tiny piece of bread between the two of you? Huddling under a single blanket to ward off the cold at night? Ugh, that's so romantic! I was trying to be funny. It's so cold! Yes, though it's much warmer here than it was before. It's hard to believe things like this happen just because Ratatosk is asleep. Lord Ratatosk brought us, the Centurions, together to command the monsters and restore balance to the mana flow. It's the only way to maintain stability in a world where mana didn't originally exist. What do you mean by that? Isn't mana the source of all life? According to Lord Ratatosk, initially this world was without mana, as the mana from the comet Deris Karlan accumulated here. The giant Karlan tree took root and forever changed the environment of this world. How long ago did that happen? Let's see, about 10,000 years ago at the very least. That long ago, that boggles the mind to think about it. Something I can help you with? Um, yes. We heard the owner of this shop brought back a strange jewel with him. Oh, that. My son couldn't find any buyers for it, so he figured he might as well dump it back where he found it. We must have just missed him. Let's hurry after him! Excuse me, what happened to the previous owner of this shop? Hmm? I've always been the owner here. Perhaps you're mistaken. Really? Rico, let's get going! Right. Are you serious? The Temple of Ice again? I know. If we just hung out there a bit, we might have caught the accessory shop owner in the first place. This sort of inconvenience is not uncommon. Anyway, I'm afraid we don't have much choice. It just seems like a waste of time. Hopefully we'll get an option to just quick jump there. Quick, quick jump? Ah, oh, never mind. Didn't Rain say something about Celsius's tear? I've heard of them. Isn't it some type of rare ice? That's right. It has the power to freeze what's around it. Then, is this one of... Ouch! Are you all right? Yes. Be careful. They say if you touch Celsius's tear with your bare hands, you'll get frostbite. Seriously? You could have said something before. But I heard that Celsius's tear is the size of normal flowers. There's no way I could lift this. Perhaps a dormant Centurion's core is affecting its environment and causing it to grow at an accelerated rate. This thing is way too big. Which means Glaucius's core should be somewhere in the vicinity. Assuming that shop owner really brought it back. Perhaps my senses are deceiving me, 
but I thought I detected the presence of Solom's core. Solom? That's the Centurion of Earth, right? Isn't that a little weird? This is the Temple of Ice. Yes, indeed. I suppose it's just my imagination. I believe it might be time to prepare a meal. Whoa! Is that your own personal cooking knife? Yes. And you just carry it around with you? Don't laugh, but cooking is a bit of a hobby for me. I wouldn't laugh. I think it's attractive for a man to know his way around a kitchen. Thank you. However, carrying a cooking knife does come with its own problems. Like what? Well, for example, occasionally being mistaken for a criminal. I've been imprisoned numerous times because of it. For such a perfect gentleman, you sure seem to wind up in jail a lot. There's still ice left inside here. You're right. It's kind of chilly. This is where Celsius used to be, right? Well, perhaps it would be more accurate to say this is where she was imprisoned. Oh, really? But why? Apparently it was in order to split the world in two, though it's a bit of a moot point now. That's right. The world was divided into two. What's wrong, Emil? You look like you're in pain. No, it's nothing. I just felt like I remembered something important. You remembered something? Maybe something to do with the Centurion's cores? I wonder what it was. Well, if it really was important...
get ready. It's over! Triple kick! White Wolf! Die! Crescent move! Phoenix Rush! Phoenix Rush! Phoenix Rush! Phoenix Rush! Can never rely too much on ours. It's my choice. Crescent move! Phoenix Rush! Should have never gone against me. So, Celsius was here, but now she isn't? I'm not sure. A friend of mine is a summoner who once made a pact with Celsius, and the summon spirit hasn't been seen here since. So that means Celsius is still with that summoner? That is the most likely explanation. However, summon spirits, unlike humans, are not physical entities. So I imagine they don't exactly stay with summoners in the strictest sense. Do centurions have much in common with summon spirits? More so than we do with humans. As I am not a spirit myself, it's difficult to say exactly. Summon spirits? Hmm. I would have liked to see Celsius, or any of the other summon spirits. Celsius's tear reaches even here. It's possible that these flowers wrap around the entire temple. What's this? Something that was used during the world regeneration. I wonder if it still works. Oh, you came here before? With Lloyd? Yes, with Lloyd. I still can't understand why Lloyd won't explain his actions to us. Maybe he really has been affected by the dormant Centurion's core. If I were Lloyd, I'd never do anything to hurt the people who cared about me. Emil. He has so many friends who believe in him, but he doesn't care. How could he?
Guacius's core isn't here. That's weird. Maybe the shop owner isn't here yet. Yeah, if Lloyd had it, you'd probably see one of his weird posters around. Something's coming. Be careful. What is... It's an ice elemental monster, a murka. It must have come here to escape the harsh climate outside. It seems to be extremely aggressive. Ah, we're trapped. They must have been accidentally imprisoned in the altar. They're mad with hunger. Uh, here it comes! It's over! Wait, Larry, swap us from the protection! I was careless! I was careless! I thought we were lunch there for a sec. Yeah. But I kind of feel sorry for it. It's not like they asked to be put in here. Emil, you are a mystery. Though you're afraid of monsters, you still seem to sympathize with them quite readily. I know I sound like a wimp, but I just don't like fighting and all that. No, not at all. That's part of what I like about you. By the way, something has been bothering me. What is it? I believe we may have been tricked. What do you mean? The owner of Flanor's accessory shop assisted us on the journey of world regeneration. He was not the old man we met today. You mean he's a fake? Then Glacius's core is... I'm quite sure someone from the accessory shop took Glacius's core as witnessed by Rain and Genus. However, whether they are bringing it back here is another matter. But why lie to us about it? Perhaps they're after your Ratatosk's core, Lady Mark. If you're right, we need to get out of here as fast as we can. Yes. Let's hurry. Marta! Marta, I'm sorry. Daddy? Daddy? Marta, your father's here? In this place? Marta, come here. I want to apologize. Really? You'll hear me out? Marta, hold on! Something's not right! Marta! Marta! Are you 
okay? Damn, we'll have to break it down. Wait, behind you! Vanguard! You're after Ratatosk's core. We have no use for you! Die! will die if Ratatosk's core is removed from her. You two stand back. Oh, okay. Wow. Why don't you utilize that destructive power in battle? I swore that I would never again use my hands as tools of death. Never again? You mean... Long ago, the woman that I loved died by my own hands. <sighs> Scorn me if you wish, but right now we have to save Marta. I can't imagine you ever doing something like that. There must have been a good reason behind what you... And even if you did kill someone, I've harmed countless people under the guise of protecting myself as well. Emil. with his own hands. I wonder how it happened. If I end up fighting Richter, will I be able to when the time comes? Wait, I mean, I'm not in love with Richter or anything. I mean, it's not like that. Um, not that I don't like him or anything. Actually, I like him a lot, but... <sighs> I don't even know what I'm thinking anymore. Emil, is something wrong? What? No, I'm fine. Huh? I have no choice. I won't let you get in Master Richter's way! Simon, go! Dragon Surge! 
It's over! Dragon kick! White wolf! Dragon surge! Damn it! It's over! Triple kick! White wolf! Could you? How could you do that to Marta? Damn it! If I was more powerful, I could have stopped this! If I was always me, I never would have let this happen! You should take a good look at her before you start crying. That voice. Sheena Fujibayashi, at your service. And Marta Luwaldi, the lovely beauty who rose from the dead. Marta. Marta! Thank goodness you're safe. I'm sorry for making you go through that, Emil. Then what is that body? It's an Igaguri ninja technique. Pretty good, huh? But not as good as Grandpa. Thank you for helping us, Sheena. But tell me, what brings you to the Temple of Ice? I came to rescue the kidnapped citizens of Flanor and thought I'd give you a hand. Kidnapped? What do you mean, ma'am? You know Flanor was attacked, right? Oh, yes. During the attack, the Vanguard kidnapped the family that runs the accessory shop, and I tracked them down here. So then, they were imposters after all. What do you mean? It appears the kidnapping was all part of an even bigger ruse to lure us here. Perhaps we should continue this discussion elsewhere. It would be dangerous for us to stay here too long. W what the heck is this thing? 
I am Tenebrae, enchanted, I'm sure. Oh, uh, okay. Well, whatever you are, I suppose you're right. Uh, we should get going. That guy from before might realize the core he has is a fake, and I don't think we want to stay around for that. Meet Sheena. choice but to fight. Enough of the praises. That was so smooth. It's like he's got tons of experience because he's old and stop that. He's sensitive about his age. It's a terrifying way he looks evil. Let's see, it's a meal, right? Uh, yes. I feel like I've met you somewhere before. Maybe it's just my imagination. I'm sorry. I don't think I remember meeting you. Oh yeah? That's so strange. Your face looks very familiar. Speaking of familiar faces, that Richter guy, I've seen him before too. Really? Yes, I've definitely seen him somewhere. You don't think I'd forget someone dumb enough to fall for the oldest trick in the... I apologize for this. No, not at all. Let's go find her. Right. She saved Marta's life after all. How should we proceed? Follow her down the pit ourselves? We lack the proper equipment to safely descend from here. Why don't we first try to find a path that might lead to the bottom of the pit? Good idea. Let's look for another... before about what when you thought I'd been killed you got really furious I have expected you to be relieved that this annoying girl was finally out of your hair I'd never think anything like that 
When I saw you get stabbed, all I could think about was how I never told you how I felt. What? I want you to forget everything I said earlier about you telling me who I'm supposed to be. I don't really think that. Wait, do you mean that you... No, not that. It's just I... I know I'm not the person you think I am, but... No, you're wrong. Sure, when we first started out together, I had it in my head that you were this all-powerful Prince Charming. But after a while, I realized you're actually scared of a lot of things. Yeah, I'm sorry I'm so pathetic. But that timid Emil is the one fighting for me with everything he's got, even though he never asked to get wrapped up in all this in the first place. It touches my heart far more than a hero who fights without fear. What? I think that the real you is much, much cooler than the fantasy I had in my mind. I'm glad to see the two of you so happy. <laughs> After all that, don't you have anything to say to Marta? Uh, um... It's okay. I'm going to go on loving you regardless of how you feel. You don't have to say anything. Well, let's keep moving. I hope Sheen is all right. All right. Something smells. What is this terrible stench? That smells familiar. That's Oda's seduction. That means Dex is here. This is bad. She's not waking up. Alice, Alice, my darling, your dear Dex is here. Now open your eyes for me. 
I'm surprised she hasn't come to yet. Your cologne could wake the dead. <laughs> You're entranced by my alluring scent as well. However, I am pledged to my darling Alice. Dex? You came just in time. This girl broke my fall. Can you use healing arts to help her? Marta? But Richter killed you. Just a minute. You know Richter? Are you guys friends with that cr- Sheena, those two are both members of the Vanguard! <laughs> Ow! What the- Alice, my darling. It's your prince, Dex. What the- Why is Double Dex here? Ugh! Get away from me, you reek! Mart Mart? Why are you still alive? What, Richter failed? Yes, my dearest Alice. And after all that trouble I went to, transforming to lure Marta away from her friends. Daddy! You... That was nothing but a disguise! Sheena, is that similar to your ninja technique? No. Even the most advanced techniques of the Igaguri style involve some sort of trick or device. Well, well. Guess I'll just have to take care of little Mart Mart myself. I can't wait to see the look on Richter's face when... Let me help, my dearest Alice. Dex, you stink. Stay away from me. Now then, be a good girl and say your prayers before I send you off to heaven. Not so fast, Celsius! This ice wall won't hold forever. Let's get out of here while we still can. Does anyone else smell that? Yeah, something sure stinks. It smells like an attempt to take a masculine fragrance and strengthen it to ludicrous levels. I think it's coming from Emil. What? It's not me. It's this Odess Seduction stuff that guy Dex forced on me. Odess Seduction? You put that stuff on? That's so creepy. Well, I mean... My apologies. I believe that is one of my company's products. What? what? I'll send an order to the factory to halt production immediately. This odor is a menace. Just what sort of corporation is the Lazareno Group anyway? You really have a knack for falling into pits, Sheena. Hey, it's not like I threw myself down that thing for the fun of it. By the time I realized that hole was there, it was already too late. I thought it might just be part of your destiny as a descendant of the Fujibayashi line. Very funny. Besides, what kind of crummy destiny would involve falling into holes? Well, your ancestry could have a long history of falling into life's pitfalls. <sighs> Alice and Dex. Looks like it. And Richter, too. Emil. I wonder if Richter had anything to do with the kidnapping of that shopkeeper. 
If so, he certainly has a roundabout way of doing it. Remember, he said something along the lines of not wanting Emil to see him kill Marta. Oh, is the real shop? Of course. My scouts should be escorting him back to town as we speak. Thank God. Why do humans have this tendency to stop and talk? Need I remind you that we are currently being pursued? Come to think of it, I've been meaning to ask, what the hell are you, a summon spirit or something? I'm a Centurion. I'd be more than happy to discuss it with you in detail once we get away from here. Are all Centurions as moody as you? to high heaven. Yes, that was his Otis seduction. Sorry to interrupt this fascinating discussion, but if it continues much longer, our enemies are bound to catch up with us. Oh, okay, I get it. Y you want us to stop talking, right? Exactly. I hereby proclaim a ban on speaking. It. I just can't be so quiet for this long. Excuse me if I'm mistaken, but as your profession is akin to that of a spy, I'd imagine that silence would occasionally be essential in your line of work. You sure talk a lot for a dog. I am not a dog, I'm a centurion. We centurions are not summoned spirits, nor are we animals, but rather... Shh, if we keep yapping like this, we'll get caught. But... Speaking ban in effect. <laughs> My, my, this is wonderful. If only we could travel this quietly all the Quiet! Time. Oh, right. My apologies. We'd never get out of there. It's just been one thing after another. The whole situation has become quite an ordeal. Hey, Regal, how'd you end up with these kids anyway? Well, you see. Lloyd was responsible for that attack? No way. I can't believe it. But if Lloyd's being affected by the Centurion's core, it's not unthinkable. I suppose it's possible, but still. give up. There's no point in idle speculation. Rain and Genus are following Lloyd right now? Uh, yes. Then I'm going with you. Huh? If something's the matter with Lloyd, maybe I can be the one to smack some sense back into him. And if I go with you, there's a chance we'll run into him, right? Well, yes, I suppose so. All right, then it's set. You mind? No. Yeah, welcome to the group. Great, now that that's settled, let's visit the Flanor Accessory Shop. We've got to find out where Glockius's core went. Yes, let's go. Sheena, it's been far too long. That's for sure, the last time we met was... At the unveiling of Hosette's restoration plan. Right, that's it! Were you on some kind of mission in Flanor? No, I didn't have any official business to attend to. Hmm? I was looking for Lloyd and just happened to be there when Flanor came under attack. You've been looking for him as well. Aren't you worried about him? Yes, I am. <laughs> Emil! What? <laughs> oh, nothing. Huh? Emil. Lady Marta is indicating she is happy. Yeah, but about what? She is pleased you were genuinely concerned for her welfare. But that was... As a man, you must now take responsibility. Huh? 
Those who carelessly spark false hope in a young lady's heart are doomed to scorn and resentment. Who said I was trying to do anything like that? <laughs> the world tends to side with young ladies. I urge you to proceed with caution. Tenebrae, you managed to surpass spiteful and graduate straight to malicious. Chief, we've flushed out all the Vanguard members that were holed up in this house. Chief? Who's Chief? Sheena is one of the Mizuho. They're a secret group that serves the Tetha Allen royal family. Perhaps you've heard of them? I have. They're experts in intelligence gathering and combat. That's us! Experts? You're joking, right? Wh what's that supposed to mean? You little... I trust the family's unharmed. Of course. Good work. The real accessory shop owner is inside. I'm glad he's safe. Come on, let's go talk to him. Right. Oh, it's you! There you are. Thank goodness you're safe. When the Vanguard took me, I thought I was done for. Anyway, thank you. I owe you my life. Don't mention it. There's actually something we'd like to ask you, if you don't mind. We heard you discovered a strange jewel near the cave with the Celsius's tears. Ah, yes. Uh, Glacius, uh, what... My son took it to Mount Tokyo. He said he was gonna try to sell it to some nobles there or something. And I thought he'd finally come to spend some quality time with his old man. Aw, oh, don't be so glum. I'll come back to visit you again soon. Mount Tokyo? We'd better hurry or who knows what'll happen. Yes, we need to set out for Mount Tokyo as soon as possible. Allow me to prepare my company's high-speed transport. Thank you.
Sobre mí, yo que sé cómo va a subir. Healing power.
weak, but stay on guard. No way! That's it? I was just getting started! I won.
truth behind the mask. Wow, this is Mel Tokyo? It's huge! Is this your first time here? Uh, yes ma'am. I should have said something earlier, but just drop the formalities. That kind of thing makes me itch. Yes ma- I mean, okay. I hope Glaucius' core is still here. Regal and I both know this town like the back of our hands. I'm sure we'll- Let's pay a visit to the item. All right. Tokyo's so huge. I bet you could get lost here pretty easily. This was the capital of Tepa'ala when the world was still divided in two. So both people and goods gather here. Ugh, it's no wonder that people in Tepa'ala look down on us. Marta? No town in Silverant can even come close to this size. We don't even have a leader to unite the people as a proper country. But Silverant was ravaged by the Desions. The prosperity we Tetha'alans have enjoyed was at the expense of your people. If anything, we should be making every effort to repay what we've taken from you. Please forgive us. Oh, that's not what I meant. I wasn't blaming the Tetha'alans. I was just thinking we're going to have to build a city to equal Mel Tokyo ourselves. You're amazing, Marta. Hey, you're Silver Auntie too, so we're in this together. Right. Wasn't that Tokunaga? It certainly looked like him. Someone you know? Yes, the Chosen of Tetha'ala lives in this city and... Selos. Oh right, you met him in Paul Macosta? Yes, you said you did. Anyway, the man you just saw is a butler to the Chosen's sister, Selos. Really? Maybe he's running it. Yeah, probably. All right, let's go inside. What can I do for you? Um, we're looking for a rare jewel that was found in Flanor. Ah, I know the item you're talking. Someone brought it then? They sure did, but I already sold it. Who did you sell it to? 
Sorry, I can't tell you. Customer confidentiality and all that. What do you mean? Merchants are bound to keep their customers' information private, especially where high-priced items such as jewels are concerned. If the wrong people found out who possesses such a priceless item, the buyer could become a target for theft. It's just as the gentleman here says. So but it's not just the person who bought it who'd be in trouble. The whole city... I have an idea. How about we go and ask His Majesty? His Majesty? The King? Why? Most of the customers for fine jewels are members of the nobility. And they tend to show off their latest purchases. I see. We'll hobnob with the local aristocracy and find out which one has Glockius's. Good idea, Regal. You never cease to amaze me. A duke and a scholar to boot. Regal, you're a duke? I suppose I forgot to mention it. This is the first I've heard of it. Wow. President of a huge company and a duke, too. I may have titles and rank, but under all that, I'm still flesh and blood like you. All of Lloyd's friends are really amazing people. It makes me wonder about the Lloyd that they believe in. If it wasn't for the Centurion's Corps, maybe he'd even be an okay guy. Yeah, maybe.
my, my, if it isn't my slippery little friends from Flanor. We can't fight here. Why not? I don't care if this city gets blown into tiny little pieces. <laughs> it's time to die. Give up, Alice. You lost. Oh, I don't think so. Rigged the little darling with a special collar that self destructs if he gets defeated. Pretty clever, if I say so myself. <laughs> what the hell? Bye bye, Mart Mart. I'll be sure to let Commander Brute know that you're dead. <laughs> let go of him right now. I'll handle this. He's not dead, is he? He can't be. It, it's just like what happened with Corinne.
What? What is this? The Centurions? Centurions will rise time and time again. All that is needed is the power of Lord Radatosk. <clears throat> this is the reason why I should be the one in control! Emil? Don't worry. The Centurion told me. The Tenebrae is only asleep. I'm gonna go after him. What do you mean, go after him? Where? The Temple of Darkness. If it's the same as the other Centurions we've encountered, then there should be an entrance to the altar in there. That's where we'll find Tenebrae! Now I understand. I'll go with you. What about you, Regal? I'll meet with His Majesty and advise him on the situation with Glockies' core first. After that, I'll follow you. Whatever. All right, then we'll meet you there. Centurions are such mysterious creatures. You got that right. I mean, they just return to their altars when they're injured. Actually, when they are inflicted with so much damage that they revert to their core state, they're supposed to return to Radatosk himself. Then Tenebrae is with me? But Radatosk is also currently in core form, without his powers. He doesn't have the strength to heal the Centurions. So Tenebrae returned to his altar. Or at least that's what they said. You mean the other Centurions? Yeah. Wait, so if Radatosk wasn't taking his nap, there'd be no need to go to the Temple of Darkness? If Radatosk was awake, we wouldn't be on this journey in the first place. Oh, right. <laughs> really okay? Yeah. He's just changed back into a core, right? He's not dead or anything, right? No, he's not dead! You don't have to yell at me, you know! <laughs> Sorry. A centurion can always be revived as long as their mana source doesn't dry up. They're like summon spirits in that way. The centurions say it's not a question of his being alive or dead. Okay, I get it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't panic just because I don't understand. No. I like you better angry than meek and apologetic. <laughs> Emil in Ratatosk mode tells it straight like a man. can feel Tenebrae's presence. Really? It's bright enough to see in here without the blue candle. Must be because Shadow's gone. 
blue candle. When Shadow was in this temple, it was pitch black. Without it, we couldn't see a thing. Who cares? Let's... You know, I'm finding it pretty difficult to warm up to a meal in Ratatosk mode. Sheena. Oh, right, sorry. I know he is a meal. But anyway, come on, let's go. I guess it makes sense that the Temple of Darkness would be so dark. Are you scared? N not scared, exactly. Dark places always make you wonder what might be hiding in them. There isn't much that scares me, though, thanks to all the training I've been through. Sheena, there's something on your back. Ah! What? What is it? It, it was just a cobweb. Oh, co cobwebs, right. Don't startle me like that. That's some training. Damn, Alice! How could she do this to Tenebrae? Next time I see her, I'm gonna tie her up and toss her butt into Flannor Harbor. <laughs> You're too soft. I'd sling a rope around her and hang her from the tops of the Fuji Mountains. I understand how you both feel, but I can't say I approve of your choice of words. Harsh words are evidence of troubled minds. Okay then, the next time I have the pleasure of a rendezvous with Lady Alice, I would truly enjoy the opportunity to politely wrap her up with ropes and kindly submerge her in the beautiful waters of Flannor Harbor. <sighs> <sighs> Damn it! I have no idea where the core is without Tenebrae. Too bad the other Centurions don't talk to us the way that Tenebrae does. Bunch of useless twits. By the way, Emil, you've been in Ratatosk mode for a while now. Something wrong with that? Not wrong, really. J Shh. What is it? I hear voices from inside. A normal wall. Maybe the sorcerer's ring. Doesn't look like. There must be a switch somewhere else. Damn it! What's with this hidden door crap? When I find it, I'm smashing it to pieces. Emil, humans have a saying: a wise head makes a closed mouth. And what's that supposed to mean? Uh, I'm not sure. Placing the control mechanism for a secret door adjacent to that door would be of little value. This can only mean that the switch is in a remote location. Oh, I see. But you're using that wrong. My apologies. And what's with the impression of Tenebrae anyway? I miss him. Then we'd better stop wasting time and find the real thing. Yeah.
seal. Power seal. Watch this. I won. Guess you want to die. Power seal! Power! Die! Damn it! Damn it! Power seal! It's over! Not bad, huh? Power seal! Light seal! Light seal! Light seal! You're amazing!
Too easy. Tenebrae's really here. Don't worry, Marta. The other Centurions told us that Tenebrae would be here. I'm sure he is. Okay. Relax. I can sense his presence. Really? Yes, trust me. I'm your guardian, a Knight of Ratatosk. Yeah. Emil, you sure say some manly things when you're in Ratatosk. Shut up!
this? I don't know. This is where we found Shadow, the summoned spirit of darkness, two years ago. But this wasn't here then. Maybe it's some sort of switch. <laughs>